Beer has always been extremely popular in Saskatchewan. Craft beer has kind of just started in um, the last 10 years in Saskatchewan. IPAs are really popular right now and also uh, stouts and porters, um, the darker beers for winter are very popular. Um, they're just like something heavier, something warming, a little bit higher in alcohol, uh, really nice for Christmas and winter season. Our first beer here um, on the right is the multinational, the Holotau Blanc. This one is a West Coast Pale Ale. Um, it's single hopped, so they use one type of hops. Um, you'll get a lot of notes of tropical fruit, flowers, uh, citrus, pine, and a slight bitterness, but overall a really nice, easy drinking, fun beer. So next we have the High Key Triple Citrus Wheat Beer. It's a German-style Hefeweizen, uh, which just means wheat beer, um, and it uses 100% Saskatchewan grain bill from Maker's Malt in Rostern, Saskatchewan. We have the Hybrid Bigger from Nine Mile, located in downtown Saskatoon. Um, they made this uh, beer as a tribute to the Märzen, so it's traditionally served at Oktoberfest. Um, but they call it a hybrid because instead of the traditional lager yeast, um, they use an ale yeast, which speeds up the fermentation. Rebellion Cherry Lambic. So they aged it in oak barrels uh, for two years and it goes through a spontaneous wild fermentation, um, which you get a sour beer uh, with a thick mouthfeel, a little bit cloudy, a little bit funky, but in a very good way their robust porter from Blackbridge. So the robust porter is an old school London porter. Um, it's a darker ale with roasted malts um, and it has aromas of toffee, coffee, chocolate, ripe dark cher cherries on the finish. Our next beer here is the Chocolate Oatmeal Stout from Better Brother Brewery. This stout is made from five different grains, um, all from Maker's Malt in uh, Rostern, Saskatchewan. Um, it's a lighter style stout. It's meant for the intermediate uh, to beginner uh, beer drinker. 21st Street Brewery New England IPA, their Cloud Nine. And so they add the hops later in the process, which gives it kind of a haze and a citrusy flavor. Um, so although there are a lot of hops added to it, um, it doesn't come out on the taste. So this is a great beer as an introduction uh, to IPAs. Lastly, we have uh, the Nicomis India Pale Ale or IPA. So this is a classic IPA. Uh, they use four different types of hops to it and it's got that real bitterness and punch, notes of citrus, 